so hello everyone in this video we'll be uh, adding some more functionality in our landing page first of all let me just uh, show you how it is looking for now so one more thing that we'll be doing is we'll be making this navigation bar into the same color so we have the good styling so instead of uh, BG body to Sherry we'll be writing BG primary and we can add text as light okay let me just see the navigation bar and the respective colors that we can use let's click on color schemes you can see this is the color scheme so that we can use yep so the first navigation bar the second navigation bar yeah so simply we need to pass these two values and that will work for the text as well so this is fine you can see this is looking good now what we can do is uh, we can add more details in here like uh, the navigation menu should be in the center so that I'll be doing and the navigation collapse okay so I think uh, we can focus on that later let's build the uh, category panel in the landing page first in here what I can do is I can simply create a div or a container that will be good I create a container and in here I can create a simple heading all blogs and in here I can create the grids of cards that we can grab from here we can search for card groups you can see this is card groups and we also have grid cards so we can use the grid cards option let's copy it out now let's copy these things also if I see that you can see uh, the cards or the blocks are available instead of card title we can have some dummy title here so let me just make it 5 that's it let me just make three in one row and we can make it six instead of five we can make this as centered and we can give some margin Uh, these are there now instead of this card we can grab uh, the card and we can uh, create a component for the card so that will be good if I create a card component inside that so 
so we can easily reuse that now let's copy this Okay, let me just add the import from this place. Yeah. Now I can grab the image title, description, and a category. So all these things will be showing here as description title and in the image we can specify the SRC of the image or the image let's name it SRC so it makes more sense now if I do that let me just go here and call that card now yep now instead of array from I can grab a simple sample data that I can use which will be an array of uh, objects where I can name let's say intro so all these data will be coming from the back end but for now let's uh, just uh, add it so we can just show that description this is a description or let's name it as lorem So that will be good, I think. And I can add SRC. So SRC for SRC, what we can do, we can grab some image. Let's say programming image. Let's grab one of that image. Okay, so this looks cool so let me just copy the image address now in here I can paste that so title description and the SRC I think those three things were needed and the fourth one was category I think so category we can show somewhere after the title so for category I'll be using a, a tag so for that I think we have badges yeah so we have badges or pills like badges yeah this one we can use these kind of badges and we can show that and in here we can show the category Yeah, so here I can specify the category as uh, let's say programming and similarly I can copy and paste for other data as well I think for now we can uh, leave it to 3 and we can test it out our card intro to Python or let's say how AI will change the future and we can change the image let's change the image to AI or I think this one looks more good or let's use this one Let's copy 
the image address and place it here yep technology let's name it technology that will be good and now let's name it blockchain an overview let's grab the blockchain image and we can place it here we can name it technology the same category now these three things are there now let's uh, map the this array instead of creating a sample array we'll be mapping this array and I can add item here and key key or ID whatever you can name it now here we can specify the title or I can do like this as well that will also make more sense if I do that okay now let me just go and change the name to blog card instead of card because card we are already declaring okay so Log card. Okay. Now let's go to the landing page and name it blog card instead of card. That should solve it. Okay, so badge is not defined. We can import the badge as well. we do that yep that's it now we can see our cards are prepared and they are created we can also make them into the same height if you want so we can do that so this was the image and we can set the width or basically the height If I do that, I think it's not working, so let's do it this way. Yeah, now you can see this is working, and we can also add one more property object fit curve. So the little stretch that you were seeing earlier, so that wouldn't be available. So yeah, I think that's it. The cards are pretty much sorted out. And instead of showing all this card, we can slice it, slice their value to let's say 200. Then we can add some dot. And later on, we can also add some link here. So we can directly see the tags. That's it. Now let's also add a link. That will be card.footer, I guess. Now if I add a link, let's name it something for now. ID. 
so id will be there view more let's name it or we can simply make it a button that will be good okay so let's make it a button and we can make it as primary so the default one is I think primary so yep that's it you can make it into center as well and X auto margin left and right auto and a display block So you can see this is into the center now and we have created our sample blogs card and now this is looking more clear in the next video we'll be working on this navigation bar a little bit and and later on we'll be adding routing to this as well so yeah let's meet in the next video